guys, it's your favorite Donabai here, and today we got ourselves a new, brand new, brand new mashup here. I'm actually glad I actually thought of this one, and I actually think Omega Supreme does need a little bit more shine, and I think Gigan is probably the perfect opponent here. So let's start off. Omega Supreme is an Autobot Guardian or an Autobot Sentry, or pretty much created to be this Autobot super weapon way before the Dinobots, and he's easily easily beyond the level of combiners as a matter of fact he was actually around for so long it was so powerful that nova prime had to create a combiner specifically on his level just to combat him and guess what the crazy part is he still winded up beating that combiner known as monstructor he's actually incredibly strong is able to easily overpower the likes of bruticus menasaur um let's see here monstructor devastator okay he's been able to power sunstorm and actually been able to overpower entire decepticon armies including megatron so this again would show him the having the universal to multiversal um ap so you know it's uh i think it's pretty consistent as well he's able to literally just dog walk characters stronger than optimus prime and megatron even being able to take attacks from these guys as well Omega Supreme comes with a plethora of weapons, such as his arm cannon. This arm cannon is pretty much just an absolute beast. It's been able to one-shot um, Devastator, tear through Menasaur like it was nothing, and even been able to combat Bruticus's sonic cannon, which was able to damage Predaking. Which, um, I don't think that's really a joke at all, considering the fact that the Predacons are literally like the Dinobots of the, um decepticon faction so yeah it's pretty consistent for omega supreme overpower he also comes equipped with missiles a magnetic hand he's able to absorb and redirect energy so omega omega supreme's just packing and everything but next up we have his opponent gigan the cyborg what is he what actually is he if you actually think about it? is he actually a cyborg chicken like really i think that's he's a cyborg alien bird but guy has been around for like di for as long as i can remember he's an absolute classic <laughs> monster well let's talk about it he's strong enough to sorry sorry i meant to say we're actually going to be using the strongest version of guy again and he'll have both his saw and blade hands and have them interchangeable in this fight so yeah guy again is incredibly strong able to slice mecha god sorry slice space godzilla's crystals in half tear through mogira like nothing and is actually able to combat jet jaguar and godzilla in hand-to-hand -hand combat so again showing that he has universal to multiversal levels of ap he's able to do this frequently even being able to cut off orga's hand he's equipped with both saw and scythe hands on multiple occasions being able to cut through characters like you know gigan godzilla q manga um even being able to damage monster x in the um godzilla final wars movies as well so yeah he's absolutely ridiculous when it comes to ap in speed easily many times faster than light to a relevant speed he's able to cross the universe along with king Ghidorah, like it's nothing being able to move from saturn to earth within three days because he's taking his time with him he possesses his laser vision or his laser or his optic blast which is able to disintegrate things on a molecular level even being able to do, sorry, to um, deconstruct materials like buildings, basically just shattering them with a simple blast. He's even able to turn into a scatter blast, even has um, saw discs and everything and all. Pre pretty much just all of this arsenal, right? So, um, yeah, let's begin here. So, easily, this matchup is pretty much chosen because these two have a impeccable arsenal. These guys have a lot of firepower and everything. Now, in terms of strength, I think these guys are pretty equal. I mean, Omega Supreme compares to Combiners, while Gigan compares to, you know, monsters and kaiju like Godzilla. However, I do think Gigan has deadlier melee weaponry than Omega Supreme. And I do think that's pretty much the only edge I could really give Gigan here. He's also faster, and he has a lot more... I think he has a lot more um, close-range weaponry than omega supreme omega supreme has actually a lot of long range weaponry than gigan while gigan seems to be more focused on more or less melee combat so um this is actually a pretty interesting fight in my opinion because 
I do think if Gaigan keeps it at close quarters combat, he's able to, um, I think he'll eventually win. Yeah. I do think these two are equal in just about everything. I do think Gaigan is faster, while Mim is more durable in my opinion. Simply put, he can take attacks from Sunstorm, who is a living embodiment of the sun, mm. while Gaigan can, you know, subparly take Godzilla's atomic breath without being wrecked a couple times. But all in all, I do think Omega Supreme does have the better long-range arsenal and has no problem straight up pulverizing Gaigan with it. And I do think that even if it's, you know, a, gets to be a physical confrontation, Omega Supreme has what it takes and has what he needs in order to actually win the fight, okay? So even if they get close, I do think it's going to be a hard-fought battle, but I just think that Gigan has the edge here. The characters they scale to are kind of like very consistent themselves as well. You have Mogira who's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with monsters like Trilopods, even Trilopod enhanced creatures, being able to fight off Space Godzilla. You have characters like Devastator who's able to wreck Superion and Defensor individually, being able to overpower and beat down these combiners relatively easily, even being able to overpower the likes of Galvatron being able to overpower Megatron. Yeah, so yeah, Devastator was pretty consistent. As are other combiners like Bruticus and even the Autobot combiners themselves like Superion and Defensor. Defensor is actually known to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bruticus on a regular. So if you really think about it, the um, Protector Bots are actually rivals to the Combaticons more than I think any other... Yeah, any other... Um, yeah, and the other combiner rivalry we had, we already know that Devil started didn't really have a rival except for the Dinobots. And if they combine, it'd be, um, it, it, it'd be devastating. <laughs> no pun intended, but you guys get my point, right? Gigan, you know, scales to these like Mecha Godzilla and Godzilla himself, even being able to harm these Godzilla like monsters or Godzilla level monsters on multiple occasions and taking attacks to them. But I do think that this really comes down to their arsenal. Gigan has a good amount of means of a long-range weaponry, you know, stuff that could wear down a Mega Supreme, but he doesn't have a lot of them. Meanwhile, Mega Supreme has a lot. And that arm cannon is no joke. Like that that just that one arm cannon alone could basically decimate Gigan if he's not careful. I do think Gaigan is fast enough to dodge it, get in close, and then start engaging in close quarters combat. But again, it's not guaranteed, as Omega Supreme is a really good close quarters combatant. Now you could say, oh, well, Gaigan's weaponry, like you said, gives him the edge, Legendary. Yes, and I do believe that. Okay, I do believe that. But again, if they're going to be starting off at a distance, not at close range, they're going to start at at least a good amount of distance, right? And Omega Supreme can get off that arsenal before Gigan gets close. And in all honesty, I think that's what's really going to happen here. I do think that Omega Supreme is going to unleash that arsenal. Missiles, cannon, everything. Pulsar cannon. Maybe he'll even transform and keep up with Gigan's speed and begin to maybe fight him in his vehicle mode. There's so many possibilities with this fight that it's really close, in my opinion. I do think it's close here. And I don't think that Gigan's going to win more often than not. I do think that if he was in some of, of Omega Supreme fights, he would definitely um, win more often than not. I do think that if he was to fight against Bruticus and Menasaur, I do think Gigan will win. But due to Omega Supreme and how he's portrayed, being able to take on the entire Decepticon's um, artillery like it's nothing, okay? And this includes, you know, things that could blow up planets as well, so they weren't really holding back on Omega Supreme. This even includes characters that could take down Zeta Supremes, which were basically um, morals off Omega Supremes. But at the end of the day here, Due to Omega Supreme's not only superior intelligence, but he is a superior fighter as well. I would have to say Omega Supreme wins at least five times out of ten due to his arsenal being the much more skilled fighter. And 
pretty much just having a better long range capability. But the other five out of 10 goes to Gigan once he uses his speed and gets in close. So at the end of the day, I would have to say Omega Supreme takes the very first win while Gigan would take another win and it would be going back and forth between the two and some of them would be stalemates. So at the end of the day, the first win, I would have to give Omega Supreme. But be sure to comment down below, like, and subscribe and share with your friends. This is Legendary Grimlock, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.